It keeps one and a half million people safe. The Maslon storm surge barrier closes if the water is expected to rise three meters or more. Two steel arms, both as tall as the Eiffel Tower, close off the port of Rotterdam. For real, we have closed now twice in um, 25 years. We expect to be closing more often in the future, of course. But Originally, this uh, barrier has been designed for a lifetime of 100 years. Uh, and already in the design, uh, we encountered about 50 centimeters of sea level rise. So it's already in the design. Uh, but of course, we all can't look that specifically into the future. So we expect somewhere between 2060, 2090, uh, we have to make alterations perhaps possibly. A quarter of the Netherlands is located below sea level. According to the UN, sea levels are currently rising more than twice as fast as in the 20th century. The barrier is tested once a year, drawing a crowd of hundreds. They aren't worried. We live almost all under water. And we are all aware that we always have something to think about. Well, if we can think about something, kunnen we die andere, die extra halve meter, die kunnen we ook nog aan. En anderhalve meter ook, denk ik dan, toch? Innovation is also seen as the answer by a local entrepreneur. In the port of Rotterdam, this floating farm has 40 cows whose milk is processed below deck. The idea was born after Hurricane Sandy hit New York in 2012 and food ran out fast. Voedselvoorziening in een stad heeft heel erg te maken met logistiek. En als iets overstroomt, dan is er geen logistiek meer. Nou, toen kwam het idee, als je klimaat adaptief bouwt, dat betekent dat je op en neer gaat met het getijden op het water, ja, dan ben je minder afhankelijk van logistiek. That idea is spreading. Singapore and Dubai have expressed interest in opening floating farms of their own. As this country continues to tackle the rising sea levels, it is barriers like the Maaslandkering which are giving people confidence that this country has what it takes to weather the storm. This is Fernand Van Tetz reporting for Euronews from Rotterdam.